Okay, um, let's go over uh, the first demo here for the Surrealism Project. What you're going to want to do is get Photoshop opened up here. When you have it opened up, go ahead um, and get Schoology opened and hop onto our course. Hang on. There we go. Hop onto the course here. You're going to scroll down to the Surrealism Project folder. And then third down right here, this folder, Photos for Tutorial. Blue, click on it, has two photos in here. You need to download both of them, okay? So you'll click. You don't see the little download um, key down here. You can right click on it and hit Save Image As. Save it to your digital design folder. If that's in your OneDrive, great. If it's down in your student drive, great. But save it to that folder, okay? And then also save the other one here. So you need both. So you have the parrot and the bunny head. Once you get both of them saved, we're gonna open them up in Photoshop. So you're gonna go over here, right by new file, you're gonna hit open. You're going to click on both of them. I like to check these boxes here so that way I know I have both of them. If you don't have little boxes, you can kind of click and drag to select both. And we'll go down here and hit open. If you weren't able to open both, um, you can go up here and hit file, open, and open whichever one you needed. Okay. First thing we need to do here is we're going to click on our white cursor. Make sure that this show transform controls is checked on. We want the check mark. Go down to the bottom right here and unlock the background in our layers panel. And also do that for your other image. And go. So I have these tabs up here to toggle between both of them. I'm going to unlock my other one. I'm gonna click and drag my um, pair image over just because we wanna put everything on this. So I like having it first. Just click on them, drag, click and drag. You do that, you can take it back into that bar and let go. Okay. What we need to do here is move this bunny head over to our parrots. I'm going to zoom in here. Zoom in is control plus. Zoom out is control minus. Spacebar changes our cursor into a little grabby hand. I can kind of scroll it down and move it around here by holding that spacebar. Spacebar, control plus, control minus. So I want to grab the contour of my rabbit's head here. We're going to use this third tool down the lasso tool. If you don't see it, right click. You have some other options here. We just want the normal, um, or actually we're gonna use the magnetic lasso tool. So if you don't see that one, right click, grab magnetic lasso. You just need to click once to drop an anchor point. And then you're just gonna slowly drag around the edge of his head here. Photoshop is laying points where it kind of thinks you want them at. I'm holding my space right here so I can drag it and move it if I need to. And then I can keep going along the contour of my rabbit's ear. The slower you go, the better. Bringing it back down, clicking on the space bar so I can drag it back up. Bringing it down and around. I just want his head here, so I'm going under his neck a little bit. Trying not to get that weird leaf back up. Once you get back to where you started, just click on that anchor point, and then we should see. Um, kind of this fuzzy edge here. So now we need to drag this back into our first tab. I'm going to click on my white move tool. Click and drag. I'm clicking and holding. So I'm not letting go, dragging my cursor up. I'm still holding and then I drop it out. You should see this blue box around your rabbit head. If you don't, it's because this is not checked. Make sure you check that. We can make it bigger, smaller. I can move it around. 
if I get my um, cursor kind of up in the corner here, see how it toggles over um, to this little cursor? You can click and kind of pivot it if we need to. So get it where you want it. Line it up here. It's okay if we can still see, with the, see some of the beak here. So I'm going to leave it here. You can either hit enter on your keyboard or you can hit a white check up here um, to get it locked and set into place. So I'm going to hit enter. A new layer will pop up down here in your layers panel um, with that rabbit head. You can click the eyeball here to turn it on and off. So now I'm going to zoom in on my rabbit head by hitting control plus using my space bar, pulling over and zoom out one. So what I want to do to get rid of this beak um, is we're going to steal a color from the sky and fill it in. So I'm going to go over here to my layers, make sure I'm on this layer because that is where my sky and beak are. I want to steal the sky color and put it on the beak. I'm going to go over to my toolbar, go down, down, down. So this one that looks like a stamp, it's called the clone stamp tool. And I click on it. I can change, I'm gonna adjust the settings up here. I can change the opacity. This is how um, dark or see-through it is. So if I have 100%, it's gonna be 100% of that color. I do 50%, it's gonna only be 50%. So it's gonna be a little bit see-through there. We can change um, the look of our brush here. So you can see my brush on my screen. I can toggle this arrow and change the size of it to really big, make it really small. This is uh, the hardness, talks about the edge of it. So you can see if it's all the way up, we have a really um, clean cut edge here. Take it all the way down, it's really fuzzy. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it pretty hard and take the size down a little bit. Okay. You click on your screen, this will pop up. This is telling you um, that we have not stolen a color from the background, just hit OK. So what I'm going to do, I'm not holding my mouse right now. I'm just going to click on Alt. You can see that my cursor changes over to a target whenever I hit Alt. I'm going to let go. I'm going to hold Alt again. So keep holding Alt and just click on your mouse once and then let go of Alt. I'm just going to carry this over so you can see. Now I have that color stolen from the sky. So Alt, click once, let go of Alt. Now I have that color. So I'm gonna start filling in, just clicking and dragging behind my bunny here. You can see as I click down that this beak comes back. That is because I stole the color from up here. And so as I'm moving down, filling things in, where I stole that color from, we're also moving down. So it's picking that beak back up. To get rid of it, we're just gonna steal again. So I'm gonna hit Alt, click, fill it in. If I need to do it again, Alt, click, Fill it in, Alt, click, fill it in, and so we get it completely gone, okay? Next thing I want to do here is I want to soften up this kind of harsh edge on my rabbit head. So I'm going to switch over to my layer one. I'm going to go two tools down below my clone stamp to my eraser tool. Same thing, we can change the settings of it up here. I'm going to change um, the size of it. So a little bit smaller, that will be good. I'm gonna make it a little bit softer. So let's see the edge of it here is pretty soft. I click off, I'm gonna zoom in. The closer you zoom in, um, the more pixels you can see, right? So you can see all those pixels. Let's go up here. I'll zoom back out one. I'm just gonna go through, let me make this a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna start cleaning up some of those edges. Let's make it a little bit harder. Maybe even a little more. Let's go again. There we go. I'm just going to drag it around, clean it up a little bit. Whoops. Control Z. You accidentally do this. Control Z to undo. Cleaning it up. Keep it going. Keep it going. And get rid of that white spot there. Come down here. Get rid of it some more. So we're just working on making the edge a little bit softer so that way we can't tell as much that this is something we just kind of slapped on top of this um, parrot body, right? You may want to make your eraser a little bit smaller to go back in 
um, and clean up some of that mouth area. Going underneath the chin here, has that really um, harsh white line. Going down under here a little bit more. Can be a little bit messier when it comes to where um, the rabbits and the parrot neck combine. It's okay to be a little bit messy. So we're gonna kind of go back in and blend it out. Just wanna get rid of that harsher edge. Clicking a little bit more sporadically here. Slow back down as I come back to the clean sky. Taking my time cleaning that up. Going all the way up and around here. Cleaning this guy up a little bit. Cleaning this guy up a little bit. Whoops, too much there. Control Z. Okay. Once you kind of have it smoothed out, smoothed, smoothed out how you like it, um, I'm going to show you another tool here to kind of go back in and touch a few other things up. Two below that, you right click, we have the blur tool here. So it's one, two below our eraser and click on that. Again, we can adjust it up here how we need to. Uh, we'll make it a little bit harder here. Size is pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna make sure it's still on my bunny head here and not the blue background. My strength here is at 50%. You could turn it up, um, but I feel like I don't need it too high. I'm just gonna go around and click on areas where I feel like I kind of want to fuzz the edge. Um, if I do too much, right, it becomes blurry really quickly. Control Z to undo that. It's okay to kind of click and drag, especially because we have like a flat color in the background. If we had a cityscape or something, we wouldn't want to drag because it would get it too blurry, too quick, right? If I come over here, it becomes really blurry really quick. Also under this tool is the sharpen tool, which you can take over. Um, it kind of cleans and clears some things up, making it look a little bit crisper. The more I go over it though, the more distorted it gets. So don't overuse that. Also under that, we have smudge tool. Same thing here, smudges really quickly. Um, only good for certain things. We needed to smudge something, right? Zoom back out here. So now his head looks like it belongs a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and try to make his head a little bit lighter match my parrot body. I click back on my move tool here. We have an adjustments panel over here next to our properties. Um, these guys do exactly what I'm getting ready to show you over here, but they adjust the entire um, artboard or image, okay? Not just what we have selected. So if you want to just work on one piece, one layer here, so my rabbit head, you need to come up into image, Go to adjustments and it has those same options. Okay. We're going to go to levels. You can change the output or the input levels. I'm just going to um, lighten up my input levels. You can see my rabbit head get lighter, get darker as I move those around. Just going to make it a little bit lighter. That's too much. This might be too dark. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Once you get it where you want it, um, I didn't adjust mine too much. Go ahead and hit OK. Next thing we're going to do here is we're going to try to combine, um, make this seam here with the feathers and the bunny head, bunny fur, feel a little bit more seamless. So to do that, um, let me zoom in here so you can see. I'm going to turn my rabbit head off. So I'm going to go over here to my layers panel and click this little eyeball. Remember, that gets rid of it so that way I can see. I'm going to go to the third tool down here and right click. Grab the normal lasso tool. I'm going to come up pretty high just so that way I know it's going to overlap with my rabbit head. I'm going to come up here, grab these feathers, come back down, and come back up. Let's see if it's overlapping. Yeah, so it's overlapping quite a bit, which is good. I want some of those feathers up on his face. Turn this back off. 
make sure you do this with the normal lasso tool. If you try to um, do this with the magnetic lasso tool, it will not let you copy and paste. I'm not for sure why. I'm going to click back on my move tool here. I'm going to hit control C, control V. Oh, let's see what it popped up here. So it popped up rabbit fur. This shows us that I was on the wrong layer here. If that did that for you, it's okay. Stay here and just hit the little trash can. We'll get rid of it. Need to move back down to this. We'll try again. Photoshop's really frustrating if you're not on the right layer. Um, it's not gonna do what you want it to do. So now I'm on the right layer here. Go back up to that white tool. Control C for copy, Control V for paste. So you can see now it's opened up a new layer, right? I have those neck feathers. I'm gonna turn my bunny head back on. I need this bunny head to be below those neck feathers though. So I'm going to click on that layer and drag, 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 drag until that blue line appears and then I'm gonna let go. So that way those feathers pop up there. So you're just clicking, dragging until that magic blue line appears, let go. Click, drag, drop. So I'm going to click on that layer with my feathers here, so that way I can turn down the opacity. That's just making it a little bit more see-through. You can manually put a number in if you want to, or if you click this down arrow, you can toggle it. Now I'm going to go back to my eraser tool here. I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to make it way softer. I'm just going to do a little bit of clicking. To kind of start to fade, make it a little bit smaller here. Fade some of those feathers out as I need to. You could leave some more, you could take some away. I'm gonna leave these here. I should have probably grabbed more um, right here so it would come up a little bit further. But that's not bad, right? It looks a little bit more. We can't see that harsh line of our rabbit neck anymore. Other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down beneath um, this blur, sharp, and smudge tool. It's just right below that one. I'm going to click on the dodge tool on that. It's this little magnifying glass. I'm going to click on my rabbit head layer. So layer one. I'll zoom in here so you can see. This is going to lighten things up. So if I take it once over here, you can see that it adds a little highlight. Take it again, adds another highlight. I could highlight um, my parrot's chest here, but I have to switch layers. Take this guy down here, make it a little bit brighter, make his belly a little bit brighter. Maybe I wanna make down here my rabbit face a little bit brighter, switch over on that layer. Under that same tool, the dodge tool is the burn tool. We can burn things, which just makes it darker. So I'm on my rabbit head layer over here. Gonna go under his ear, it's a little bit darker. Click off, click back on, go over it again, it gets a little bit darker. Could go back over into my parrot layer here and start to kind of fill it in a little bit darker if I want to. I click off and then click back on again. Kind of doing a circular motion here like he would be shading. Keep in mind though, see how I'm touching outside of my parrot's back? That area is gonna get darker too. So try to keep your cursor where you want it to be. Um, I know it's a little bit frustrating. I'm trying to keep those edges a little bit separate there. Keep going over the back of him a little bit more. Do his neck here a little bit more. Just making it a little bit darker. If your feathers here start to look a little weird, don't forget we added some other feathers. So you could go over them to make uh, a little bit of that darker as well. All right. Um, once you have the head on here, feathers kind of blended in, that beak is gone, your task is to add um, another eye, some different eye onto here um, and different legs. All right. Let me show you a quick example of those things. I think I have one pulled up right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, you can see one here, right? You have different eye happening, different legs. Uh, let's see what other ones we got in here. Forgot to change the eye. So different legs happening.
different legs, different eye. This is a really nicely blended eye. You can tell she tried to go back in here on the background and make that ground uh, look like it's supposed to be there because our bird legs are pretty wide, right? Let's see what else we got here. Zoom out. <laughs> Different eye here with a knife. Uh, forgot to change the legs on this one though. That is what I need from you though. So once you get the eye, different legs on here, you're going to submit that to Schoology for me. All right. Um, under the surrealism folder, into that submit your creature here assignment. All right. Thank you. Let me know if you have questions as you get working.